Mystically 
just saying that you know it's so hard to describe to people how jet lagged and out of it you can be after travel. Yeah, I mean that's a thing. It's, it's like it's, it's a really it, it happens to me a lot when I when I'm in Europe or when I when I get to England. Say I, you know I fly to England and and what usually happens is you get all the way over to Europe and you got your 11 hour flight and then maybe your other connecting flight and by the time you get there it's kind of like some strange hour like 7 in the morning or 8 o'clock in the morning you go to your hotel and you check in and they're like we're sorry but your room's not going to be ready until this afternoon so you're just kind of you're so delirious and you're so out of it and you're on this time difference and so what do you do? You kind of sit in the lobby or you kind of go walking around the streets. But, you know, when you're in places like that you're not used to, like a, a place like Portugal or a place like Spain or 
uh, a place like London, you know, the cars drive on different sides of the streets, or sometimes the streets are, like in, in Spain, they're very narrow. And so uh, the, the, the cars drive very fast and very close to the curb. And so there's there's been countless moments. I was in, in Holland once, and I was just, you know, walking across the street, and but this train kind of just came out of nowhere, and I just came within inches of of getting run over um, on this tour, my my uh, tour manager, just you know we were we were in Bologna, <laughs> we were walking. He was about three or four feet ahead of me. <laughs> I was so fucking tired, and I just all of a sudden I just saw this <laughs> train coming coming towards him. You know, and he was looking to the right, and the train was coming from his left, and I was just like, I was just like, hey, hey. <laughs> I, I should have gra and grabbed him, but I was so fucking delirious because I just been, you know, I just flew in from San Francisco and I was sitting around some airport in Frankfurt and then like <laughs> got to Bologna <laughs> and he wanted to like, <laughs> go into town and like get something to eat. I was just like, are you sure, man? I am so fucking tired. But yeah, I mean, literally that the train just like went by and just like. It was just within, within an inch, I mean, he just, just like, probably missed his nose by like an inch, but it's just, yeah, it's just kind of one of these things that happens when you're out there, you know. Do you think there's anything behind everything being black and white in Spain? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you, um, the venue that I played in, in Tenerife was like, everything was white. Um, we asked the promoter today about the, the woman that's traveling with us. We asked her about her house and she showed us pictures inside and her walls are all white. and and uh, white marble floors, obviously everything in here is white. I almost killed myself today in the bathroom on the slipping on the marble floor in there today. I got in here and took a bath. Yeah, this is a typical bathroom in a Spanish hotel, all the white tile. This is where I almost slipped and broke my neck earlier when I was getting in the bath. Um, there's always one of these things which <laughs> probably accidentally peeing in the middle of the night. I don't know, I, I never use these, but yeah, this is kind of the typical marble, cold, uh, hard, Spanish, <laughs> Spanish bathroom.
can the monitors be even, like physically balanced? Do you know what the fuck I'm talking about here? Like one's here and one's there. Like can we get them symmetrical? Yeah. However, they, they should just be symmetrical. It just needs to be like 